Well, hello once again and welcome to Midweek Connect from Elim Church Romsey. My name's Dave Walker, I'm the senior pastor and I just want to share with you something over the next seven, eight minutes-ish that will challenge you and more to the point, really encourage you. Over the last month on Midweek Connect, we've been going through the Psalms and I've just been picking uh, a few random Psalms which will um, sort of encourage you, designed to encourage you. And uh, today is my last one of the month and my title is, You Worship Something, What Is It? You Worship Something, What Is It? And I'm reading from Psalm 148 and I'll read through it and I've got a few points to encourage you with. Please stay with me. Psalm 148. 1 to 14. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. So you can see where this is going. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his hosts. Praise him sun and moon. Praise him all you shining stars. Praise him you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let the name of the Lord, um, let's praise the name of the Lord for he commanded and they were created. He established them forever and give them a decree it will not pass away. So you can see what this psalm is about. It's really encouraging focus on God rather than our own situations and our own self, irrespective of what we're going through. Stay with me. Verse 7. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all the deeps. Fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and cedars, beasts and all livestock, creeping things, flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers. And I'll leave it there, but the theme of this is praising God. That's not something that we find natural. In fact, praising something else uh, unless it's something we really like, it's not something we really find natural. So when, in a sense, when you become a Christian, uh, focusing on this act of worship is quite new to start with. But guess what? Did you know? You worship something anyway. Every one of us has things in our lives that we worship. Back in 1989, I used to follow a particular group called, you've heard of them, the Bee Gees. Right? The Bee Gees were great and two members of the, the band have passed away now, there's only one left. But I remember going to a concert in Birmingham, in the National Exhibition Centre in 1989, June, to watch the Bee Gees. And at the end of the concert, I thought, I wonder if I hung around the stage door to get their autographs and, and take photographs of them. I wonder if I could do that. But I realised that by doing that, I would miss my coach back to Derby from Birmingham. And I, I, my, my, then my only option would be to get a train from where the NEC was into Birmingham and get one back. I didn't know the times of the trains. It was in the days before the internet. You couldn't, you couldn't um, find it out. So I had no way of getting back, but I thought it is worth it. And I managed to speak to two members of the band um, very, very sort of briefly after the show. But then I had to sleep on a train station in Birmingham overnight. I sacrificed my own comfort for something that I worshipped, and I did worship it. And I, with them, and I, I, thankfully I don't anymore. But guess what? Even though I was a Christian, I understood what worship was because God was still cleaning me up, but I understood that we all worship something. And later on I thought, if, what, I wonder if the adoration that I gave that band or the adoration that some people give bands or people or, or football teams or whatever, if, if you use that adoration and direct it towards God, as this psalm says, what sort of life would we have? Everyone praises something. God requires absolute and utter devotion from the Christian can you imagine if you got married, a man got married to a woman and they come up to the altar and he looked at her and she looked at him and they look forward to spending eternity to get, well, the rest of their lives together, possibly eternity, depending on what their beliefs were. But, I, I, you know, a man, they might look forward to it and he promised 
absolutely promised to be faithful to her and vice versa. And he said, I will do everything you want me to, anything you want me to, but just on one premise, that one day a year, just one day a year, let's say 1st of January, each year I can just go back and spend time with my previous girlfriend and then come back on the 2nd of January. Just one day. And the woman would say, no, forget it. I want absolute devotion. And that's what God says to us. He wants complete devotion. The psalmist here realised it. Because a life, obviously, uh, through Jesus Christ, that is devoted to God each day is the best life and is the happiest life. And I looked at various ways that praise and worship could come through our lives. You know, we could praise God through our time, devoting our time to him. What is your time spent on? Do you pray? Do you worship? Do you spend time with other Christians in fellowship? I don't know, but you will know. By looking at your time, and quite, quite a few of us are looking after children and, and relatives and different things, and we've got jobs. I, I know that, but kind of spare time. What's your spare time spent on? What about money? Money, does the way that you spend your money reflect what you worship? What about our thoughts? Do the things that you think about all day reflect your worship? What about your plans? Do your plans for the future reflect God, reflect his will and reflect what you worship? And finally, what about identity? Do you know, I identify as a Christian. A few months after I became a Christian, I remember walking towards church, having a Bible in a carrier bag. And a friend of mine who I remember from my pre-Christian days walked towards me, walked past me, and to my shame, I hid my Bible because I was ashamed of my Christianity at that point. And that was deplorable. And I've, I've asked for forgiveness. God's forgiven me. But I, I now am proud to say that I'm a Christian. I preach the gospel on social media, in, news, in newspaper articles, when I get the chance, in the local newspaper. And I am a Christian. And I can look at this and understand that, yes, I'm not perfect, but I want to ident identify as a Christian. And finally, a few, a few verses from a Psalm 150, which really sums it up. Psalm 150, um, verses 1 to 4. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with his trumpet sound. Praise him with flute, with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. And I want to just challenge you right now as a Christian to look at your own lives, to not feel condemned, but to say, Lord, does my life reflect you in worship? Because it will really matter as we go through our lives. I don't want to waste any time running after things that aren't important. I'm happy to say I am a Christian. I'm a born again believer. I'm in love with Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of Jesus. And it's great to know that I still need his strength every day to help me and to direct me and to guide me. And the best way to know God is through Jesus Christ. He died on the cross to pay the price for your sins. And I would encourage you through things like time, money, thoughts, plans, identity or anything else, just look at your life and think, God, how do you want me more? I know you want me, but just speak to me as to how you want me to change my life to a way that will reflect your glory and bring others in. God bless you. Thank you for listening. <coughs> Come and join us on Sunday at Elim Church, Romsey, Middlebridge Street, Romsey. Um, 10.30 a.m. in the morning. You, it's, it's a great place to be. We have brilliant worship, great kids' work and youth work. And uh, there'll be a sermon this, uh, this Sunday morning as well, of course, as normal. And um, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for tuning in from Midweek Connect from Elim Church Romsey today. God bless you and thank you and have a good week.